good everybody welcome back to another my am toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 16 coming at you guys we got a lot of swippages and swappages and flicks and flocks and uh, I don't know what the hell that was, but we got a lot of stuff going on here today, guys. We're going to be doing some epic swaps. We got some new figures in here, including Elite 65, not only Aiden English, but Rusev. We got Rusev Day in the house. We got Elite 66 Kurt Angle that we're going to be working on. We're going to fix up my white fantasy attire, not fantasy attire. What are you, stupid? White live event attire, Finn Balor right there. We got Tyler Bay. We got a lot of epic stuff going on today, guys. So what we're going to be doing, as you guys know, we always switch it and swappage on action figure surgery that's what it's all about about switching parts and making our figures look better so what we're going to do is go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing here today on action figure surgery episode number 16 so i guess we can start out with what's in front what's in front is the kurt angle head scan that i wanted to switch onto my elite 66 look at this nice head scan this came off the SummerSlam basic i believe that that is what it is it's like pretty much the elite 59 but true effects technology is a little bit more detailed it's got the five o'clock shadow sort of painted in there. It looks really, really strong. We're going to switch this head scan onto the new Elite 66 Kurt Angle just because this head scan even though this is well painted and it looks like Kurt Angle, I just feel like, I don't know, they've, they've released this head scan too much. I really want this head scan over here. I think that'll make this figure look a ton more better. And I could use it as sort of like a throwback Kurt Angle mixed together with a current day Kurt Angle. I think it'll be pretty freaking sweet. So we're going to be switching this over here. I'm very excited about that swap. So that is our first order of business. The next thing that we're going to be doing is switching this Tyler Bates boots with this Bob Backlund's boots. So you guys see we have the Elite 63 Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund figure. We're going to be switching his boots, the black boots with the white laces, onto my Tyler Bate figure that has the plain black boots because I like Tyler Bate better. I think the black and white will look a lot better than the all black, and I don't really use the Bob Backlund. He's just going to chill up on the shelf, so why not switch these boots? I think that'll work out pretty nicely. Tyler Bate will be looking fresh after that. So there is Bobby and Tyler. Next up, we do have something very, very simple, and all we're going to be doing is popping off Bob Orton's boots here, giving us these neat knee pads which are smaller to switch out with Rusev's Elite 65 knee pads instead of these larger ones even though they are a bit better than the older ones they used to give us they're still just I don't like them I don't I don't want them on there and, and we're getting rid of them so we're gonna be switching these smaller knee pads over here on Rusev also something I wanted to show you guys is look at this right here I did repaint this Rusev head scan and it looks a hundred million times better it's still not perfect but it looks a hundred million times better then the Elite 65 Rusev, I'll pop up a picture if you guys would like, and I'll show you guys what it used to look like and stuff like that. This looks so much better that it's actually criminally insane, but we are going to be fixing his boots, and that will make this Rusev figure even better. Not his boots, moron. We're fixing his knee pads. Our next order of business is going to be switching the legs on this Finn Balor. Even though this Finn Balor looks absolutely beautiful, we are going to switch his legs out. I just think that it'll look better. I mean, I know that a lot of people, I mean, to be honest, the Cody Rhodes legs could work for him, but I'm going to switch on William Regal legs just to see how it looks. I think it'll be all right. Uh, so we're going to have to switch the lower legs over to Regal and then switch the total legs um, on the ball joints there. So that'll be really simple and hopefully these bigger legs don't look weird on William Regal because I kind of want to have William Regal possibly in the pick fed or something. I think that'd be pretty sweet. So we're going to switch that over there. Maybe he'll look alright. If not, then you know everything will suck. And then our last thing that we're going to be doing is a arm and head swap with my Aiden English figures. It may not be something I do on you know for, for permanent, but we're going to be switching these head scans just to see what what this head skin and arms looks like over here on my custom elite Aiden English and I think I'm going to keep the boots the way they are. I like the Seamus boots better than just these little belt buckles or whatever painted onto the boots. So I think I'm going to keep these over here and we're just going to switch the arms and switch the head skins just to see what it looks like. Again, I may not keep it, but we're, we're just going to take a look at it. But that pretty much does it for everything we're going to do, guys. So let's go ahead and dive straight in. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first is, I guess, go ahead and pop off Rusev's and Bob Orton's boots. And then we'll take off Tyler Bates and Bob Backlund's boots. And then we'll take off uh, Kurt Angle's head. So I'm going to try and heat up everything at once. And we're just going to turn on the hair dryer and sit it here. Hopefully everything works out and uh, everything gets heated up evenly and we'll be able to do everything and switch everything without, you know, any problems. So let's go ahead and hit it. All 
All right, guys, we'll see how that goes. That should be long enough. Let's go ahead and pop Tyler Bates' boots off right here. The shorter boots are always a problem for me. I don't know really why. It's just the way they're molded, I guess. They don't really have long pegs to stick onto. So there is Bob Boots, and we got Rusev's boots. So we're just going to try and pop everything off here at once, and then we'll do the switches, and hopefully everything turns out. Oh, Rusev's freaking knee pad just sort of shot off there. At least I don't have to worry about putting these onto Bob, so I guess I don't have to really, you know, have to track down that knee pad. We're just going to try and get this one off. Jesus Christ, this thing's on here. It, like, fills up his entire leg. You guys see the whole width of it is, like, Rusev's entire leg. All right, we got that. Now let's pop off Bob's just like so. And we can slide these off. All right, we got the left knee pad. Go ahead and put it on here. That way I don't confuse the two. Oh, actually, I don't even know how well this is going to go on here. Didn't even realize that. These are actually kind of smaller than the other ones, so I really don't know. Maybe a pain in the butt just to get on Rusev's calf here, because I think this is actually a new calf mold. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a new calf mold because he is his legs have never had the longer boots before they've always had the shorter boots or they've had the bare feet so all right we did get that on now i guess we can try and get the other knee pad on all right that that knee pad seemed to come off easier hopefully this goes on easier let's just find out here usually if they're heated up a little bit you know they'll, they'll have a little stretch to them and you can actually get it over the leg a lot easier but i guess we will have to see here yeah, it's definitely giving me trouble, but I think I got it. Poor Kurt Angle's head scan. I hope it's still hot enough. I feel like we've wasted a ton of time here, but maybe it'll still go on. All right, we finally got it on. Now, I guess we can try and pop Rusev's boots back on right here, and we'll take a look at him at the end. There's his one boot. There's his second boot. So now Rusev is done. Uh, I guess we can see if Kurt Angle's head will pop off here. All right, I knocked Bob Backlund in the floor, but I did get the head off. Now let's pop this on here. All right, I got that head scan on, so Kurt Angle is finished. So Rusev and Kurt Angle are done. Now all I have to do is put Tyler Bates' boots on. I don't know where that other boot went. All right, I got it right here. So let's see if we can put this on. I doubt this goes on, guys. Like I said, the shorter boots are kind of difficult to put on. And yeah, I'm going to have to reheat them. That sucks eggs. All right, what we're going to have to do is heat up these boots and the all-black boots in order to get them back on the figures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I have noticed that I cannot actually... Okay, so I cannot heat these up without them blowing away, so I'm going to use this duct tape, and I'm going to put the duct tape around everything, or I should probably put this on the ground, like so, and then put them all in there. And then I'm just going to heat up the center of that, and that should work, so uh, let's try it. Alright guys, let's see if this works. Let's go with Tyler Bate first, and we'll use his right boot. And... Got that on there. Now for the left boot. They honestly didn't heat up as well as I'd hoped, but we did get that on there. So Tyler Bate is finished. He can join Kurt Angle and Rusev. Now going over to Bob Backlund, which I really... I honestly don't care that much about Bob Backlund, honestly. I mean, he could be bootless for all I care, but we're, we're not going to leave Bob stranded in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to get the boots on there anyway, and we'll take a look at him at the end of the video, just see what he looks like. If anything, I feel like the all black boots kind of fit that old school look. I mean, I guess the white does too, but Bob's good now. Bob is looking good, and now I guess we can pop the other Bob. We got Bob Orton right here. We can pop his on if they'll go, and they do. And we don't really care about Bob Orton either. I mean, Tyler Bate was the main focus, and Rusev was the main focus of their switches. So he could eat it, so now he can go back there. And the next switch we're going to do is Aiden English and Finn Balor. All right, guys, I guess this is a good way to get everything. I'm just going to sort of place the hair dryer in front of it and just see how it goes. But uh, let's go ahead and hit it. Alright guys, I noticed like halfway through that I wasn't even heating up the other Aiden English, but we'll just see. Uh, we got William Regal's thigh off, we got his other thigh off, let's see if we can get Finn Balor's thigh off here. Got Finn Balor's thigh, other thigh, um, Aiden English's head, ooh, kind of scary. Um, we got his arm though. Alright, we did get Aiden English's arm, and we did not get his other arm, and his head is kind of, like I said, scary, but I may got it. Ooh, I'm so scared. 
I don't trust it. Let's just let's just heat it up in, in, in a different way. All right, so we got uh, we may have the Elite 65A in English's other arm. So we have the arms and oh wow. Okay, that that probably just f that arm all effing up. Oh Christ. Yeah, that didn't look good. But anyways, what we're gonna do is I guess go ahead and heat up these heads and arms like that. Go ahead and heat all that up, and I guess while we're at it, we can go ahead and heat up the lower legs of the William Regal thighs. Um, see if we can slide that. Maybe I can slide this off before we heat it up, but we need to switch the lower legs of the William Regal legs and the Finn Balor legs. All right, guys, hopefully that is good enough. We're going to pop this off of here like so. We're going to go over to the other leg and pop that off like so. We're doing strong right now. Let's not blow it. Or, oh, my God, that hurt a little bit, but I'm all right. All right, got the other thing off. Uh, yeah, switch this over here. All right, now over to the Finn Balor legs. This is going to be weird, but we, we got this. We got this. Okay, uh, pop that off like so. Uh, which leg is this? This is the right leg. Yes, this is the right leg, so this will go over here. Slide that up. Hopefully I'm getting all this on camera. And then you put it back like this, and it should just pop in. And it actually did. Wow, that was actually way easier, and it went a lot smoother than I expected it to. All right, there's that. All right, now slide this off. Put this over here. Um, right here, slide that up, get over here, alright, we can't blow it now, we were killing it, can't blow it now, we can't blow it right now, we're, we were literally money, did we get it, no, Christ on a cycle, we're right there, alright, I think we got it, did we get it, alright, now I'm going to pop these, these legs onto the Finn Balor crotch, you effing thought, Brad. We're gonna have to heat these back up, so, uh, oh man, I'm dropping stuff. All right, so we'll just leave that like it is, and we will come back to the Finn Balor legs. We'll heat those up in a second, but uh, I guess while we're waiting, we can go ahead and try and switch these Aiden heads. If they're still hot enough, all right, that's still hot enough. Is the arm good? The arm's like effing jello over here, but uh, let's see if this arm will come off. All right, got that. Now will this head scan come off? It will. All right, now we're going to pop the Elite 65 Aiden over here. And then we're going to put these arms over here. If this one will even go. It should go. It feels like it's going. All right, I think it went on. Now let's see if it'll go over here. All right, that Aiden English is good. And then we will switch this over here. Again, I hope I'm getting this on camera for you guys. There's the Aiden head scan. I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything right without effing it all up. Got that battle pack arm does not want to go on there. I know this one will go on here, though. It barely went on there, Brad. You almost didn't know what you were talking about, but you got it. All right, so Aiden English is done. All we have to do now is heat up those Finn Balor legs so they'll pop on there, and then all we have to do is heat up the... William Regal legs and attach them to those bigger thighs and then pop those back on William Regal and see what he looks like. Man, I effing hate that garbage. How it freaking slides apart like that? Like, my God, can you just stay for a second? Just for a freaking half second so I can heat you up? But no, you gotta be all complicated and ish. Now I have to do this weird thing and stick it in the duct tape and just hope that it works. It didn't really work that well with the boots, so I guess we'll just have to see if it works better with the legs. All right, guys, that should be good enough on the Finn Balor legs, but uh, let's go ahead and see if this will go on here good. All right, got the one leg and got the other leg. So Finn Balor is complete. Now all we have to do is somehow get these William Regal legs right, and I'm honestly not so sure how this is freaking going to go, but we're going to try it anyways here and stick it on like that, and it should just go right on, but... You know, we can't always have it the way we freaking want. Golly, stupid thing will go through the hole. If I have to reheat it, I'll do it off camera so you guys ain't got to watch that again. But we'll see 
if we can get it on there. I mean, it feels loosey-goosey enough, you know, but it, it just won't go through the freaking hole. That one almost did, but it did not. That one, that one did. So that one worked, but this one's been an a-hole. Son of a bitch, man. All right, I'll do this off camera and see you guys in the next freaking segment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have quite the number of figures here. This may be the most figures we have as far as switches and swappages and getting everything figured out for WWE action figure surgery. So I guess we can start off with Bob Backlund since he doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you guys saw what we did. We pretty much just took his boots and switched them with Tyler Bates, so now he has the plain black. Um, again, I may come in here and add some royal blue or something just to do it. I think it would tie in nicely with his attire, you know, with that bright royal blue color going on. But this wasn't much of anything at all. You know, this was just because of Tyler Bates. So this really means nothing to me. Uh, I like the figure a lot. I, I reviewed that figure on the channel. If you'd like to go look at an in-depth review of that, we do have that on the channel. I actually like that figure quite a lot. Our next figure that we have is this custom fix-up Aiden English. This is what the head swap and arm swap looks like now. So this is the Elite 65 Aiden English. And I think it looks nice. It kind of looks like a VOD villain's Aiden English back in the day running around with Simon Gotch and NXT sort of is what it reminds me of, you know. Back when he was skinnier, not as jacked, I really do like the way this looks. He's got the skinnier arm mold from the Battle Pack arms. The torso works better for an NXT Aiden English, and I like the way this looks. It is the NXT, NXT, stupid moron. It is the Elite 65 uh, torso, waist, and legs. And then, of course, uh, we do have the other version of that. And that is this right here, and I think this looks pretty freaking sweet. I said when I reviewed the Elite 65 Aiden English that the Sheamus torso would look good on it, and I think it does look good on it. If you guys missed our full review on this figure, then you will know that Aiden English is absolutely jacked. If you did watch that video, I popped up a picture. I'll pull up the same picture here, and you guys can see that I think this torso works way better for Aiden English. I think that the head and proportions are really nice with this. I wanted to keep these arms because, you know, he really doesn't wear anything on his arms anymore, and plus, I want to keep the interchangeable hands. People say that you can still interchange the hands, but I have found that they have been really loose, and it only works on certain figures. So I just went ahead and switched the blank arms on there to make sure that I kept the interchangeable hands option, and I really do like these boots. It's the Sheamus boots. I think they work better. I like these better than just the painted on buckles, and I think this is a sweet little fix-up. I think this is nice. I like this a whole lot. And I'm going, I'm going to use this as my Aiden English moving forward just because I like the ripped torso better for Aiden English. That turned out really, really nice. Way better than I expected. So that is nice. Here is William Regal. William Regal does look a lot better now that we have switched out those smaller legs. I think that the bigger legs can work for William Regal. And I don't think it's noticeable enough to keep him out of the pick fed. Plus, when uh, I got him out of the packaging, William Regal is one of those figures that has warped legs really bad. And now that we have switched him, it fixed the problem. And he looks really good. If anything, I may cut the knee pads down or replace him with Daniel Bryan knee pads or something just so he can uh, bend his knees a little bit more. But this is a truly underrated figure. William Regal, one of the most underrated talents ever. You need to go back and check him out. And he may make his way to Vindication or MDT Live. Who knows in the future. Our next fix up, guys, is the Finn Balor. We did switch out those thighs. And the William Regal thighs just look so much better, man. How Holy crap. Look at that right there. Much more accurate. And uh, I like it. I mean, uh, to be honest, the Cody Rhodes ones didn't really bother me that bad, but I think this does work, and I'm not, you know, it's not a huge, huge deal again, but it's it's something that, you know, just kind of adds to the figure. I do like the way it came out, and Finn Balor was looking fresh anyway, so anything we do to the figure is not going to matter. It's going to turn out fresh with that all-white live event attire, so he will go back up on the Balor shelf. We have Tyler Bate in the house, and these boots make the figure look a hundred times better. I love the way the black and white looks. The white outsoles and the white shoestrings or bootlaces, whatever you want to call them, look absolutely fantastic with the white wrist tape and the, uh, the, navy, sh the navy trunks. I'd like to do like a mustache attire, like put the mustache there. I don't remember what he has on the back, but maybe I could paint up something or do something with that. That is a custom head scan made by BEW. I like the way that came out. I really want to do the one that Steinsenberg Customs has. He has like a one that's like a basic, or not a basic. He has one with like a Jax R3 Tech Billy Gun head scan on there, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks just like Tyler Bate. It's kind of scary how much it looks like Tyler Bate, but it's really Billy Gun. But what a great fix up there with the white boots. Next up, we have Rusev Day right here, guys, with that uh, repainted head scan. And the smaller knee pads do look better. I think it'll cause for better articulation, not going to hinder us in any way. I think the bigger uh, knee pads could have worked, but I like him in smaller knee pads. It's just the way I like him in my fed and everything. So I'm just going to keep Rusev like this. I really do like it. And uh, yeah, smaller knee pads. I wish this said Rusev Day, but that's a whole other video and topic. 
Uh, but Rusev's looking good on Rusev Day. And our final fix-up, guys, is the Kurt Angle. We did switch off this doofus-looking head scan for this throwback SummerSlam Basic. And it kind of looks like from this angle that it may sit a little bit low, but it's really not that big of a difference in real life. I still think it works in real life, though he kind of is a bobblehead now. Uh, his head, like, can move a lot more. I think it's just because the ball joint goes up in the head more. But I like this fix-up. I think that it turned out really nice. I am happy with the way this Kurt Angle turned out. And I don't know, it's kind of bad. Eh? It makes me want to just go pose them around and suplex figures all over the effing ring and put them in ankle locks and stuff. I like this a lot. Really sick looking Kurt Angle figure and I'm very happy with it. But that does it for all of our fix-ups here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, I would love to know your thoughts on everything. What do you think of the Aiden English? I think Aiden English is one of the most underrated in this video. That torso on there looks freaking sweet nasty. Really dig this Kurt Angle head swap, the Finn Balor leg fix-up. The smaller knee pads on Rusev. We got Bob Backlund and Tyler Bate in the house. William Regal and all kinds of guys went to successful surgery today. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys are having a very blessed Saturday or whenever you're watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave me a like down below. Comment down below what I told you to comment down below on. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.